We don't seem to be able to get through to uh, Les Chamberlain at the moment, but I, I was hearing that um, there was a couple of goals down there. Maybe we'll go back to the race course ground and try and contact Les Chamberlain. And it is Wrexham 1, Queen's Park Rangers 1. Wrexham were the first to score after 18 minutes, and it was a mistake by David McCreary that led to the goal. He tried a back pass to Chris Woods, but Mick Vinter was on him in a flash and had no trouble in putting the ball past Woods. Wrexham's lead was short-lived, however, because four minutes later, Rangers were level. Steve Burke's throw-in was headed backwards by Clive Allen, and Steve Curry, with a first-time right-foot shot, put the ball past the helpless Eddie Nidzwicky. Queen's Park Rangers are coming more into it now, and have forced four corners in this half to Wrexham's one. But again, as I say, apart from this excitement in front of goals, it's deadlock in midfield. So with the score, Wrexham one, Queen's Park Rangers one, this is Les Chamberlain for IRN Sport at the race course. Well, and it is still Wrexham one, Queen's Park Rangers one, but there have been plenty for the fans of both teams to cheer. First, Wrexham's keeper, Eddie Nizwicky, rushed out of his area to head the ball away as Clive Allen raced through. And then Glenn Ryder nearly put Rangers ahead with a terrific shot from a free kick that went just wide of the post. After a spell under pressure, Wrexham broke away and uh, it was a good shot from Fox that went just wide. Uh, Vinter had a penalty appeal turned down. He appeared, it, it looked as if he had been pushed off the ball by Martin Rogers, but the referee Hackett of Sheffield waved play on. And then in the 42nd minute, Nidzwicky again brought off a brilliant save. This time, a 20-yard shot from Gordon Hill. And with the score still, Wrexham 1, Queen's Park Rangers 1. This is Les Chamberlain for IRN Sport at the race course. And the score here at Wrexham is Wrexham 1, Queen's Park Rangers 3. And Rangers' third goal was a penalty from the boot of 19-year-old Clive Allen to bring this season's tally to 30. The penalty was given after Bob Hazel put Allen through and Allen Hill dived to stop the shot with his hands. Before the kick was taken, the referee Keith Hackett of Sheffield booked Frankie Jones for his descent. Rangers, understandably, are now well in command. Although Wrexham are still putting up a fight, there is little danger of Rangers losing this 3-1 lead. This is Les Chamberlain for IRN Sport at the race course. And the final score from the race course here is Wrexham 1, Queen's Park Rangers 3. The goals for Queen's Park coming from Tony Curry, Bob Hazel and Clive Allen, a penalty. That was Clive Allen's 30th goal of the season. Mick Vinter put Wrexham ahead and it looked as if they might win their first game, first game in six, but it was not to be. Queen's Park Rangers were in superb form in the end and Wrexham just had no answer to uh, Steve Burke on the left, continually played havoc with him, and his crosses always had them in trouble. Uh, Wrexham would have had a heavier deep defeat, but for the superb saves by Eddie Nidzwick, he was standing in for Welsh international goalkeeper Dave Davis. So, with the result, Wrexham 1, Queen's Park Rangers 3, this is Les Chamberlain for IRN Sport at the race course.